Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee and this is my November project plan update. It is not as exciting as my October one. And I think that that's probably, oh my gosh, is this October, November or December? One second. Okay, I call my last one my October update. So this is definitely November, even though it's December 1st as I'm recording this. Oh, I kind of just gave myself away for how long I take to edit, didn't I? But anyway, this one's not as exciting as my last one. But I think that that definitely comes with the territory of Project Pan because if I finish everything in every update, then it wouldn't be that exciting to see like my progress made. It would, be, it would be more like, this is a product I finished this month and it would be like an empties video, not like a Project Pan. But what is stressful, I think, about this update in particular is that this is the last one before the end of the year. So anything that's not close to being finished, I don't think will be finished by the end of the year, just through nature of like, now I can tell. I have a month left. I know how long it usually takes me to use up a product or I know how much progress I've been making on the product. So now I feel like it's it's game time. It's like the final quarter and, and some of these projects I'm behind by a lot some of them I'm like there I'm at the finish line some of them I'm like not gonna make it but I think that that's okay I think that regardless of where this project ends up and I'll touch on this a lot more in my end of the year but I think I've learned a lot about what I want to learn and I'm excited for it in next year's project plan update I've already got some really cool ideas um, but if you guys have any ideas for it let me know now before I do that final one and then the one to start next year's but yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, we'll start with the two concealers. And as always, with the MAC Waterway, I used it today. <laughs> so I shook it up. But we are all the way down here. It's like inside this random E thing that is over here. <laughs> and I think that I made enough progress on it last month where I can finish it up. I think this one is actually in the perfect position to be used up by the end of the year update. Because look at it. I think it really could. I don't know. I'm I'm hopeful that we'll get this one done by the end of the year. And if not, I think I, this would be something that I could easily roll over into next year's and finish like immediately and kind of give myself like a little, cause it's nice. It's nice checking something, checking like a goal off a list. You know what I mean? Also, I'm sorry my sweater is so wrinkly. I, <laughs> it only is obvious when I show the back because I ironed the front and not the back. It's similar to have a nice sweater on and my hair is curled and my makeup's done, but I'm in sweatpants and flip-flops. So, you know, I'm half there. What can I say? It's COVID. I'm not going outside the house, so I'm not going to look better than I need to from here up. But I guess I didn't account for the back of my sleeves and got myself there. So anyway, I think this one, one more month for sure. I'm like pretty confident on that. This one is funny. This concealer I think is really funny because I was so convinced it was called the Dream Lumi Touch. And then I was reading it and I was like, the Lumi Touche, how have I never noticed that? I think I even talked about that. And then I pulled it back out again. And I was like, it does say Dream Lumi Touch. What was I going on about? Like, I'm going crazy. And it took me a long, <laughs> an embarrassing long time to figure out it's in both languages. It's in English and French, but when you roll it, <laughs> So not to fret, I have figured that out. It is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch in English. And if you are Canadian or French, it's the Dream Lumi Touche. <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay, anyway, um, I made about this much progress on it. And I think that that's fairly significant. It was definitely, it's one that I use somewhat sparingly. I don't know if you if you went back and watched my rainbow eye tutorial, I kind of put it where I put it and I don't use terribly much every time I do my makeup. Like I don't do like a huge concealer triangle and all over. I kind of just hit the high point. So to even use that much, I think that if I really go for it and wear a lot of makeup this month, which I might, we'll see. And then I can finish it. And if not, again, it's another thing that I think I could easily have done in one update in another year. So this is something I would consider rolling over as well. Oh, shoot. Um, okay. So this is my <laughs> MAC strobe cream. It fell over. So it's all on the side here. But if it all goes down in the bottom where it's supposed to, that is the mark. I didn't use it hardly at all this last month like at all at all because now I'm in sweaters and stuff even though it's still not hot or it's still not cold outside I'm still in sweaters because I like fall fashion <laughs> so I don't like put it all over my body anymore but I do think that I could easily have this up by the end of the year it's all the way down there and it, 
the radius down here is so much smaller than it was up here while I was making these huge gains. I think that if I concentrate, it's slowly starting to creep back over. If I concentrate, I can really get this done by the end of the year. And that's, I mean, my goal is to get all of this done by the end of the year, but I think that this one, we have a chance. This one and the concealers, we have a chance. But we don't have a chance for everything. Next, I'll go into, stay. I'll go into my powder products. Wet n Wild, Apricot in the Middle, everyone's favorite blush. Just kidding, I am back. I can't remember my last update if I was back to loving it or hating it, but I'm back to hating it. And it's, this is one of those ones where we're down by like 60 points and there's 10 seconds left in the game and everyone's like, kind of done and is going home because they know that you're not going to get 60 points in 10 seconds. So that's kind of where I'm at on this because it's like one of those things where now that I'm like, I know I can't finish it. I'm less inspired to wear it, which is why like I'm not wearing it today. But looks like this. <laughs> I'll, oh, I forgot. I've got to sit over here. I'll put the pictures of it. I'm Vanna White. That's her name, right? The Jeopardy lady? Not Jeopardy. Yes, Jeopardy. No, Wheel of Fortune. I used to love that when I was a kid. And I crochet like pretty regularly and they gave her like a yarn brand. I don't know if it's in like collaboration with something. This is like a long time ago. And I thought it was like the best collab of all time because it's like old ladies knitting, watching Wheel of Fortune, of course wanna buy the Vanna White yarn. Like I wanted to buy it to watch TV. Random collaboration, but brilliant, I think. The marketing team behind that, my hat's off to you. <clears throat> I've got to like clear my throat before I say this one. The Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder, <laughs> shade Highlight 01. Ta-da! I kind of feel like it looks the same as last month, if I'm being honest. And that's just where it is in life, you know? <sighs> Don't look. Don't expose me, mirror. Ah, there I am. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, oh my god, my coffee mug, my ibuprofen. It's that time of the month, you know, you can't help it. Anyway, here we are. This is what it looks like right now. Kind of the same as the previous months. The pictures will be over here. I'm like not terribly happy with the progress I've made on this, if I'm being honest. I kind of thought it would be going a lot quicker. I think that we're down by like 30 points with like 30 seconds left in the game in this one. Like there's some hope, but like... It's a real stretch. You know what I mean? Probably not. I don't think anyone ever knows what I mean. I'm like having a Kwan contour duo, shade medium. She looks like this. Y'all will never believe what I just did, but I stuck my fingers on accident into the product. Would you believe me if I said that that had never happened before starting to film YouTube videos and now I feel like it happens all the time? <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't believe me, and honestly, that's fair. But I want you to know that that's not like a common thing that happens to me all the time. And my nails were wet, so now they're gonna dry with contour powder and highlighter in them. Here we are. So it looks like this, and I do think that the pan is expanding. However, and this is a large however. I'm sure you can see we have hit, kind of a weird way to put this, there is a ton of hard pan in this product. So the formula is beginning to really change on me. Like in, sorry, I've got to look kind of at the camera for this, but in close to the ring of actual pan, you can see what the formula used to look like this cool toned yet still kind of warm brown powder and out here it's just gray and shiny and you're not picking up any product when you touch it at all like you are down here see the difference so it's becoming drastically harder to use the formula has like completely changed and i don't think that there's any hope of me using this up. But I remember, I think in my last video, I was talking about how like, oh, is this something I wanna roll over? Cause I think it's something I could finish quickly. But now that I've seen what has happened to the product, I, it's obviously something 
not maybe not obviously to everyone. It's something I don't want to continue using because the product has now changed so drastically that I can no longer even pick it up with a brush. And that change happened fairly quickly. I don't think that this was something that's, I'm, I'm going to have to look back at the pictures and really double check, but I don't think that this is something that has been happening that I've been kind of oblivious to it slowly creeping in. I think that this is something that just did sort of happen quickly and overtook my contour and I've just been sitting here like la 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 <laughs> and one day I was like why I like was swirling my brush in there forever like why can't I get any of this product up? that's why <laughs> so definitely sucks I'll have to throw this away at the end of the year I do know which product I'm replacing it with hopefully I've got a video on that coming up soon because I don't have any other contour powders in my collection this is it so this is kind of a sad update because I got this far into finishing it which is pretty impressive but I'm not gonna be able to finish it all the way because I can't put it on a brush so one more update with you and then the bin and then I think I can move back over because now I think it's this in the books okay yeah yeah la, la, la. back to the middle for me <laughs> my terrible low quality ring light is let me add that to my Christmas list because I have like this teeny tiny let's see if I can flip the video for one second I have this dude <laughs> He's on my mirror, see, and kind of falls over all the time because as you can imagine, this isn't the most stable setup in the world and he doesn't provide like the most light. So potentially like a new better ring light. I hope I have to do some research because I've put links to everything too because I am such an easy person to shop for this year <laughs> that hopefully I can find a good one. If anybody has any suggestions for ring lights or lighting setup that I could put on a Christmas list or purchase for myself, please let me know down below because that's that would be huge. My Derma E Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. This is down there. This has been kind of difficult to use up. I was like, oh, it's small. I could probably use it up in two months. I use a lot of powder. But then I realized I don't actually use that much powder because I use a lot of cream products. <laughs> and I found a new under eye setting powder that I like a ton. So kind of, you can kind of see. Uh, I didn't really use that much up at all, right? Like only that much. So it's kind of difficult, I think, because unless I'm crazy, this is the only shade of this powder um, that I could find on the website. And it's very yellow. <laughs> and it's like nowhere near like an average skin tone. Not that there even is such a thing. But the fact that they've only got this one shade, so anybody who is extremely fair or anywhere near a darker complexion at all, can't wear it, is like a kind of side eye company. Like, do all skin tones not need SPF? Because I was under the impression we should all be wearing it, not just people of like my specific complexion. So I'm not super impressed with that. And I didn't really realize that until I put this in my project pan for last time. And then I was doing research after I filmed the video, but I'll still try and use it up um, because I, I own it and I want to use what I have. But it's something that's something I would recommend because one shade is not enough in any stretch of the imagination. Like, that's my two cents. Take it as you will. Now we go into the book. Hello, lovely. It really doesn't look like lovely from that perspective, does it? When it's backwards with the cursive. You'll have to trust me that it says hello, lovely <laughs> in person. Oh, also, like, do you see my new um paintings? I painted those myself. I'll put in a picture of them here. I don't know why this, like, came up now. It's because I got this at the same craft store as that. But yeah, I did those new paintings myself. Um, they were really difficult and took a ton of time, but I'm really proud of how they came out. I think that they add a lot to my room, so. Anyway, it's just like a, a little segment of my life. I put way too much, like, I watch so many other beauty gurus that are just all about the makeup and I love it. I like, I just talk about my own stuff going on all the time. Um, sorry. <laughs> Anywho, here we are. We'll do my, we'll do it just in order going across the board, right? So I'll try and cover everything else. My Becca Slim Light Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I didn't even have to read that. Did I say it right? Yes, I did. Wow, good for me. <sighs> this kind of disappoints me because, stop, stop showing people things. I'm gonna take a picture of this journal and insert it here so I don't have to hold it. This disappoints me because when I started using this product, I felt like it was going by at a rate that I definitely could have it done by the end of the year. And then as I 
use the product and found more ways to use it and use it more consistently, I was finding that it was not moving as quickly as it did at first. And I don't have any explanation for that. I do think I have found ways that I enjoy the product. I don't think it's ever something I would repurchase just because it's, I've had to like kind of really work to incorporate it into my routine. Whereas I have a lot of other products that I more just enjoy using and fit into the makeup routine that I've already built for myself. And even like I was putting my, all my makeup into like a Google document. Cause I want to do a whole video on my makeup collection at the end of 2020 and <laughs> I have you know is it a cream or a powder column and this one I was like eh? and I put like a question mark because I don't know it's not something that I would consider a powder because it's, it's not you know like a traditional powder highlighter but it's not like a cream because it's also not anywhere near a liquid or creamy texture it's just a stick <laughs> But yeah, I am pretty disappointed because I don't think I'll have this done by the end of the year. And I don't know if I want to continue it into next year, which I definitely think it is something I could continue into next year. And it's not something else that I have replicated in my collection. So I don't know if I want to just throw it away when there's usable product left. Um, so you guys will have to let me know what you think if I should keep using this next year in the project pan or if I should start over with all new products. Uh, definitely let me know because I'm... I'm torn i've used about half of it this year so i think it would be finished in another year's project pan but yeah let me know my nyx eyebrow pencil so that was the original one that i used in one month somehow and then this one this is where we are now oh yeah i found my pink pen again last update i lost my pink pen. i found it again so chaotic vibes only on this channel it's up there it's i'm trying not to speak behind the book because my iphone's microphone quality can't pick that up very well <laughs> but it's up there and this is definitely something that we're up a hundred points <laughs> we have five seconds left in the game i think i can use that much eyebrow pencil by the end of the year especially considering how much i've used in previous months this one's gonna get used up. I'm sure of it. I'll give you my word. I was like unraveling it and I was like, I can't believe this is the end already, yay! So I have something that obviously won't be continuing next year. Still love the eyebrow pencil. I still have another one to use as a backup once that one's done, so. Grand, grand, grand. My NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. She's right there. Um, I, a very consistent use. I think that between the last two months I've used up, you know, exactly as much as I was probably expecting. And I do think that that's something I'll get rid of at the end of the year because I think it will be three years old and <laughs> it's probably time for a lipstick. But I'll definitely use up as much as I can before that point because there's a chance I could use it completely if I really make an effort. I, I'm not one of those people who really reapplies lipstick during the day, even prior to COVID. Now it's difficult because I, if I go anywhere, it's like the grocery store and I'm wearing a mask. So it's difficult to like, what am I gonna do before I go into the grocery store? Be like, let me touch up my lipstick and then put my mask on. And I was never that person anyway. I'd be like, I'll put this in my purse. I'd be like, I'll put this in my purse so that I can touch it up and then just forget it was in my purse. And then I've got like 40 lipsticks in my purse that I took out of my drawer and I'm like, where are all my lipsticks? And what do we put on lipstick? Anywho, moral of the story is if I really focus on it and make it a goal, I think we've got this. I think she could be done. And if not, then we throw her away and we had a good run and we used up as much as we could. So I think that's all anyone can ask for, right? And then my like kind of out there one, I mean, it's not that out there, it's a lip liner, but I don't really wear lip liners. And I think I'm getting better at wearing lip liners. I think it's starting to come off the corners of my mouth as I talk, and especially because my skin is dry there. Um, so ignore that. But I think they, they're, I'm starting to see the appeal. I like the color that they add to my lips and the wearability and how I can kind of define my lips potentially a little bit better. And I used a fair amount of it, I think. And I, I don't think it's one I'll have done by the end of the year, but I do think that the product, the formula definitely, either it's not a good formula or it's changed. <laughs> and I don't know which one. So I will throw it away at the end of the year, but I definitely think it's given me an appreciation for lip liners I didn't have before. And I think I will be in the new year searching for some vegan cruelty-free ones to fill the gap in my collection. So if you guys know of any vegan or cruelty-free lip liners that you love, please, please let me know because I want to try them. <laughs> and I love, you guys are great. I, the best part about having started a YouTube channel this year is getting to talk to people. I love when people leave me comments because there's like a, a sociability aspect there um, of getting to talk to people and talk about makeup, which is like a huge passion of mine that I sometimes lack. Uh, 
living where I live and being in a pandemic. So thank you every time you leave a comment, especially with recommendations or anything. Thank you for watching, but also thank you for leaving comments and talking to me. I, I don't know. I just really like it. And I'm sorry if that's cheesy to say. I, I'm blushing. You can't tell because there's so much makeup on, but it really does mean the world to me. So anyway, that's all in that. Thanks, bye. Lastly, I've got kind of a disappointing one. This is my Marc Jacobs uh, Honey Honey Perfume. I kind of thought that this would be a little bit easier to use up. I'm not going to lie. I think I wear this a lot. Every time I go into work, I wear this. And because it's just such a light, easy scent, um, for lack of a better word, it's not very heavy and overwhelming. I think that it wouldn't necessarily bother someone with light allergies. And if anyone had serious allergies or irritants, of course, I wouldn't wear perfume. I've been using this a lot. And I think that the problem with perfume, you can see it's hardly gone down at all. I'll try and make it level so you can see. The problem with perfume, I think, is that such a small amount is used every time because it comes out, you know, it, it, it aerates. It, it makes it into a spray as it comes out from this liquid, so less volume is being taken out than you're expecting. I don't think this will be used up by the end of the year, but this is something I use fairly consistently, even outside of, you know, being in a project pan context, um, even before I put it in the project pan. There are other scents that I obviously want to try, and that was a big motivation in using this one up because I want to really get into maybe like the vegan cruelty-free perfume space, which Marc Jacobs perfume doesn't fit. Again, I'm asking for so many recommendations and comments and ideas, but if you know of any really good vegan cruelty-free perfumes, uh, indie big name anything let me know this too <laughs> but I don't think I just want to sorry getting back to the point I don't think I just want to throw out usable perfume that works for a purpose because I do think it's really wasteful so my two ideas for it would be continuing it into next year taking it out of my project pan for next year and just using it as I normally have in the past or like passing it on to one of my friends or family that may enjoy the scent. Um, so you guys can let me know what you think about that too. But anyway, that concludes my project pan for this month. So lots of updates, nothing was used up. I didn't, I'm not adding anything, but I am still glad. I think I'm, I've got a lot of products that will be up by the end of the year. And I definitely know my strengths and weaknesses a little bit better when it comes to using up products, going into choosing items for next year's project pan. But let me know down below all of your thoughts on everything I've asked for this video, which is too many for me to even recall at the end. And thank you guys again so much for watching. It means the world to me. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more and I will catch you guys in the next one.